I need to hurry. Frau Beckmann said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. Big day today. Hey, Dana? Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. bad at all. I wonder if Papa would sell it in his shop though. Bloody Vigaren. Goodness, a rock? Oh no, vandals. Are you all right? None for the worse for wear. What worries me is it's getting worse every day. That's what my father says. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Always look on the bright side. At least, it's prompted me to make some repairs that I've been putting off. Do you know who did this? I've got a good idea, yes. Good for nothing hoodlums. I see who you mean. They only feel big and strong when they're together, though. Right. But people like that can be dangerous when they're driven by an ideal. Especially when it's based on hate and the rejection of other cultures. And they hold no love for Vagarans, that's for sure. My parents and I are Vagarans. Well, in that case, I wish you well. Troubled times are these, young lady. For people like us. Ah, enough talk of nastiness. Ah. I see you're carrying a music case. Would you be the lucky young lady who is to enchant our ears this year? I am. Um, and I should go. It's nearly time. Well, let me congratulate you first. Music is one of the few pleasures left to us nowadays. So, thank you, Fraulein. Thank you for spreading it around. Would you like to do me the honor of writing something in the cement before you go? I'll... I'll add the date like they do in Hollywood. It's all the rage these days, you know. Well, I... Unless you're worried, it would make you late. All right. I will. Here you go. Your initials? Yes. They stand for Dana Rose. Well then, Dana Rose. Your initials are now immortalized in concrete. You'd better make sure your destiny is worthy of them. <laughs> Thank you, mein Herr. I really should go now if I don't want to be late at the Music Academy. 
I'll be listening from here. Thank you. Goodbye. What's the point of damaging books? It's disgraceful. The ghetto. Mama and Papa often talk about it when they think I'm not listening. They say that more and more Vagarians are being forced to live here. Anyway, I'd better not hang around or I'll end up being late at the square. Is it that late already? How Beckman will kill me if I don't get to the square on time? Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Ah, oh, Frau Line Rose, there you are. A few minutes more, and you would have been late. Please excuse me, Frau Beckmann, but uh, I was delayed on the way. May I have your convocation notice? Thank you, Fraulein Rose. Now, remember, performing at the annual Spring Concert is a great honor and rewards the best Music Academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do my best, Frau Beckmann. The piano is ready. Make this day yours, Dana Rose. I have to activate the piano first. There's a mechanism on the side of it. Everything's ready. All I need to do now is arrange my sheet music and begin.
God, another day of hard labor. What are you gonna do now, Kate? Jeez, can't believe it's been almost a year since the militia sent me here. Gotta get out, move on, whatever that might be. But how, though? No news from outside, nothing. Does anyone even know I'm here? Someone must be looking for me, mustn't they? Mustn't they? Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. You okay? Sure. Digging an assault mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who? Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Sure. Okay. Five minutes. No more. Da? Da. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. There's all Oscar's data inside. I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baranur and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. That is if I ever get out of here. Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them.
Glad you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. It's for you, Americanska. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... you got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else, a less friendly face will come to get you. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember it belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me, given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, Despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia, 212-359-1519. Well done, Donna, dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Uh, of course. Uh, of course! So proud. I can't wait to see the Paris Conservatory, even though I'll miss you both terribly. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the mountain refuge this summer. Oh, yes. That mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, 
Well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Dana. Thanking him is the very least you can do. Yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. 